Okay, this week's tutorial is going to be the Byzantine weave. This is a really nice one. It's very decorative looking. It's great for bracelets and necklaces. It's sort of a follow-up to the video last week on the box chain in that they look very similar. It's You're going to be doing the exact same moves and it starts off the exact same way. Uh, there's just one added little bit that's going to turn the box chain into the Byzantine weave. So we're going to start it off, like I said, just the same way. We're going to take two rings, put them onto one ring, close that up, and then put one more ring, so it would wind up with two rings in two. And then we're going to do that same that move from the box chain where we fold them back and we split those two. I'm going to throw one more pair on just because with the larger diameter of these aluminum rings it stays really loose and that makes it very finicky okay so now we've got our fold over move and then we've got It looks like we have four in there, but we only want to grab those two on the outside. So we're going to grab one of them and then the other one there. And then that's what it should look like. I'm going to go ahead and close that ring. And then this one hooks there. Okay, and then we're going to keep going, just like the box chain. We're going to take our next ring, just going to grab, grab that one and that one. So now we're looping through two rings again. Okay, so, so far we've been behaving just like the box chain, but here is where the one difference comes. For the box chain, we would now fold over, split the rings, and grab that. But for the Byzantine, we're going to leave them here and add one more pair. like that and that's the difference to make the Byzantine we've got our one little box there those are the rings that split then we added a pair and then we added a pair and now this second pair we're going to do the fold over and split move. And that is how you do the Byzantine weave. It's that simple. Again, very similar to the box chain. It's just that every time you do the split and grab, and then you add two sets of two. And right there, you can see our one unit of the Byzantine. 
it kind of looks like an eye or something. Um, so this is just one unit. As we progress, they're going to be turned 90 degrees to each other. So I'll do a few more so you can kind of see what I mean by that. And then as it gets longer, you kind of see the pattern a little bit better. So this was our split and separate. We added this pair. We're going to add a pair. And then we add a second pair before doing our fold over and split. Now that second pair is on, and now we do the fold over and split, and then add the next pair. I'm using, once again, I'm using these large diameter aluminum rings for the purposes of demonstration. And you can see the pattern really well but it doesn't look as good as it could. There's a concept in doing the chain mail jewelry of the aspect ratio of the rings that you're using. It's, uh, it's a proportion of the diameter of the ring to the gauge of the wire. And there's a, I believe, a pretty simple way to calculate that. I don't usually worry too much about it. I just know what looks good. And so I assume the aspect ratio is probably correct in those situations. So we added, so we did our split and add, we added a pair and then we add one more pair. I'll show you an example of a bracelet I just started using this weave to show you how with the di with the different diameter and a different gauge it would wind up looking a little bit nicer all right and that second pair that's when we do our fold over and split I'm just going to add one more ring just so I have something to hold on to. Alright, and then now you can really begin to see that pattern. How you kind of have, we've got basically three units right there. And you can see how there's that box right there and then this kind of eye in between them. And it's really cool. And then you can also see how I was talking about how they're kind of turned 90 degrees to each other. So it's nice. It's really nice. It's not as dense as the box chain, which makes it a little more flowy, which is really nice. It works really well for necklaces uh, because it's got that little bit of density but it's still you can make it longer a little more easily and so here's an example of that bracelet I started and you can see with the smaller rings it is still that slightly looser but it's got a nice density and a nice look to it and then and when you you know drape it around you know a wrist or a neck it just has this really nice complex look but as you can tell from the tutorial it's not terribly complex to make the beginning can be a little fussy especially if you're using a much looser ring like these big ones I just use the big ones in these tutorials because they're very visual they're easy to see you know these are I want to say these are three-eighths of an inch whereas 
these tiny rings are four millimeters so it's just way easier for demonstrating to use the large ones and you can still see the pattern and this would make if I extended this this would make a pretty cool necklace that'd be a very kind of you know heavy metal or biker kind of necklace you know with this the thick metal pretty cool so that's the tutorial that is the Byzantine weave I'm gonna finish up this bracelet and I'll be posting it on my website leathernightmare.com you can check that out if you want to buy any of these projects. I'm going to be making more videos on these basic chainmail weaves. I'll also be doing larger videos on larger products, uh, projects, excuse me. And those are going to be posted for my patrons in my Patreon. So if you want to check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash leather nightmare. If you found this video helpful, like it give me a thumbs up. If you would like to see the rest of my videos and I'll see all the ones that I'm going to be putting out in the coming weeks, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next Friday.